Hi everybody, today I'm going to pour three separate shapes using a single dirty pour. And I'm going to create some definition by using black. So let's get this dirty pour going. I always stir before I pour to make sure my thickness is correct. Again, this just takes practice. I'm using Nova paint today. It's my favorite paint. That is magenta. This is Indian yellow. And I have some white mixed up to the same consistency. I put a couple of drops of silicone in here. And if I end up not using all this white, I like to write on here. I did white with some silicone that way later on I'll know that there's already some silicone in this one. This is a nine ounce cup. I'm using quite a bit of white because it's going to have a black background and that will make it stand out. So I'm going to set this dirty pour aside just for a minute. This is this black black paint mixed to about the same consistency as my dirty pour. I'm going to spread this around. I'm not going to scrape it. I want it to stay a nice wet layer. I need more I've still got some more in my cup I like to let drips go over the edge that's just my personal style of not coating the edge completely I think it's more interesting when you get this drippy look so what I'm looking for here with this black is enough black where it's kind of pooled up a fairly even layer but it doesn't have to be perfect But what's going to happen is when I pour this dirty pour over it, this black will move some, if, as long as you have enough on there. So I'm looking at it in the reflective light, and I'm seeing it looks pretty good. Again, it's not a perfect layer, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be. So there's my black. I'm going to do three shapes. One is going to be bigger, the other two are going to be smaller. One thing about composition to keep in mind is you want to vary the sizes of the shapes. If one is bigger and two are smaller, it's more interesting than if you, they were all the same. And also, odd numbers are more interesting. Three is more interesting than two. Five is more in interesting than, than four. It doesn't matter if you're doing a landscape or an abstract. If you vary the shapes, odd numbers are much more interesting. Now I'm just looking at this and see what, what I want to do. I want to make this a little bigger and I also wanted some of this white to come out and it wasn't until just now. I'm going to let it spread a little bit on its own. Now I'm going to start tilting it and see if I can get some fun things to happen. And what happens here is the black stays in between. And I'm just tilting gently because I don't want to obliterate this black. But I want to create some interesting back and forth.
So I'm seeing I probably should have used a little bit of more paint in these smaller these two smaller shapes. I have some left. I'm just going to go right here. And while I'm at it, let's just put some more in this other small shape as well. That's actually kind of interesting. You have to be patient with this. You want things to happen right away, but it's actually kind of fun to see this paint move around and do different things. But I also like what's going on right here, so I don't want to lose that. So I'm pulling up short from letting this go off an edge. Now I'm getting some coverage back here. It's starting to spread a little bit. I'll turn it just so you can see. See, I'm liking the composition. There's no such thing, I, I believe, in a bad composition. There are just more interesting compositions or less interesting compositions. See, I've got plenty of negative space here. I'm going to look at this for just a minute, see what I want to do. I like this. These are complementary. The silicone's doing its work here. Just want to decide if I want to t do any more tilting or not. Again, the temptation is to start pouring some color in here, but I want to stick with my three shapes. So I'm just going to tilt a little bit more and see what uh, what this thing will do. I, I'm, I am liking this, though. I have the urge for this to go down here a little bit, but I also don't want to lose this. See, this big one's dominating, which I like. But yet we still have a nice black line between all the shapes. Now I'm going to take my torch, since I have some silicone in here, and I can see if I can get some, a few cells to come up. It's just going to be brief. So I think I'm going to leave that the way it is. I like what's happening. I like this little swirl. This this actually happened when I added to this pour. So you get these nice little reflective kind of things. So that is a way to get some definition and some composition in your, in your painting using a single dirty pour. And remember, you don't have to use a million colors to get something interesting. I'm just letting this black go over the edge a little bit more. pretty happy with this and I'm gonna let this dry like this no more tilting I'm gonna leave it alone so anyway my name is Karen Goodrich uh, Karen with a C I hope you like this video if you could like comment subscribe follow me on Instagram I'd really appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video